This summer, as temperatures soar, the story is one of Pani, or rather the lack of it, a complete water crisis around India. What seemed a scenario somewhere way into the future is now a reality, from policemen actually guarding water in West Maharashtra to officials warning in Bangalore that more than half the city will not have water in 10 years. Hordes of policemen, but this is no crime scene. These cops deployed to guard water here in western Maharashtra. Water meant for drought affected Marathwada, 200 kilometers away. Gripped by one of the worst droughts in 40 years, a thirsty Marathwada is surviving on tanker water doled out by the government. <laughs> To ease the situation, the Bombay High Court in April ordered the state government to release water from western Maharashtra to the Jayakwadi Reservoir in Marathwada for drought relief. The order also directed local police to guard the water as it flowed to the reservoir to prevent its theft or use. तो उसका अनथराइज्ड यूज किसी ने करना नहीं चाहिए इसलिए पुलिस प्रोटेक्शन दिया जाए सुप्रीम कोर्ट में हैव स्टेड द रिलीज ऑफ वाटर फ्रॉम द भंडार धारा एंड द नीलवंडी डैम्स बट फॉर नियरली 10 डेज अर्लियर दिस मंथ अराउंड 2 डजन पुलिसमैन वर गार्डिंग द प्रेशियस वाटर फ्लोइंग इनटू द पार्च लैंडस्केप ऑफ मराठवाड़ा द पुलिस एस कॉट एसेंशियल टू प्रिवेंट वाटर थेफ्ट रैंपेंट इन दिस सीजन ऑफ ड्राउट Kamanahalli in Bangalore, a high-density neighbourhood where there has been no supply of water for the last two weeks. We are in the house of Dhanalakshmi, who has learnt the art of washing vessels with the least possible amount of water. It has been two weeks since there has been any water in the taps of Dhanalakshmi's house. This is a family of four people. Where do they find the water to have a bath, to wash their clothes, to wash their vessels? Drinking water itself is difficult enough to come by. Now, this is where they actually store the water, which they have bought at an exorbitant two rupees a pot. This is all the water they have right now to run the household. And there are thousands of houses just like this around the city of Bangalore. Bangalore is a thirsty city with more than 8 million people needing a daily supply of 600 cusecs of water. The actual amount being provided now, 280 cusecs. A disparity in figures that means a lot of dry taps. The city's main source of Kaveri water, the Krishna Rajasagara Dam near Mysore, has less than 64 feet against its full level of 124.8 feet. The dead storage level has been reached. Reassurances are being given by the newly installed government. There will be no problem for the uh, drinking water in Bangalore city and also Mysore and other parts of Karnataka. With Govind Murthy, Maya Sharma in Bangalore for NDTV. So water firmly on the political agenda now. Joining me tonight on that is a new minister from Karnataka. I'm joined by Dinesh Kundu Rao, who's uh, the minister for food and civil supply. But like all Karnataka's ministers, seriously concerned about this problem and the backlash. Also joining me tonight, someone who's been talking about Pani and water wars and at a time when it was unfashionable to do so. Shekhar Kapoor also joins us this evening. And Shekhar, I'm going to go across to you first because really some of these scenarios, especially the one uh, we saw from Maharashtra, where you actually had policemen guarding water is what seemed as like something that would never happen or not a reality in our lifetimes. The reality now is very, very different. Tell us about why we've reached this situation. Well, I wrote about it about uh, two years ago. I wrote about it a year ago. That's where we're heading. Ultimately, we are heading to a situation where there's so little water and we have actually very bad management of water resources and a huge inequity in the way water is distributed where if I'm living in a five-star hotel, I could have a shower for 24 hours and right across my window, there's a slum where women and children are fighting over half a bucket of water that only comes in a tanker given by the underworld, the water lords, and they're fighting over it and they only get it once every two days. So 
this is just what I see in Mumbai and this is spread all over India. And as the water resources and management goes down, this is something that's going to happen more and more. In fact, what I also wrote about is how is a government going to survive without water? When Delhi runs out of water, you're going to have a parliament sitting in there with an army trying to get the water into the parliament because there are thirsty people outside. And the, the whole idea that we have to protect people, we have to use army and police to protect people from going out, thirsty people from get, going out to water, is a, is, is a situation that is disastrous. And it just tells us what's coming if we don't manage our water resources better. It's just a little tip of the iceberg what we're seeing right now. And when it moves into the cities, it'll be worse. I want to bring in uh, Mr. Rao on that because really in a sense has moved into Bangalore and as you've been reporting from Maharashtra, it's not about rural versus urban India. There's no divide anymore. There's a problem of water, whether it's in our cities, whether it's in uh, uh, rural India, whether it's in villages. But the larger issue at stake, these are not issues politicians have addressed with any great seriousness. But in Bangalore, the problem is here and now. How is a new government which has come in, voted in by electorate, very aware about this issue, going to tackle this? How are you going to tackle it in Bangalore, for instance? Yeah, I think it's a very, very serious issue, just like what Mr. Kapoor said. It's something which I think we have to look at both short-term, long-term measures. And Bangalore is a city where, you know, we don't have any water resource which is close to the city. We depend on water from, you know, more than 100 kilometers away. So, unfortunately, right now we are having a very serious issue uh, with no water in uh, the Mysore Dam, uh, at Kabini, at KRS, and there's no rains coming at near Kurg and Kerala and, you know, so the catchment areas also and the dams are all dried up. So we are having a very serious uh, situation, but at the same time the government is uh, tackling the, uh, uh, the emergent situation right now. We are trying to release waters from some other uh, sources uh, into KRS and I think we should be able to manage for another month, month and a half without any problem. I am sure Mysore, Bangalore all will get drinking water, let's not panic right now. But at the same time we need to look at how we can address this issue on a long term basis. It's going to be I think a very, very critical part of uh, the growth of Bangalore City, how we manage our water, how we recycle it, how we use it, how we uh, store our uh, no. groundwater. So I think this is going to become one of the most important issues for the government to handle the water in Bangalore and Karnataka as a whole. I'm going to, actually, I just want to ask that, Mr. Rao, the irony, would be, I think uh, Shekhar pointed the contrast in a five-star hotel and uh, women and children fighting outside. The irony would be that what we're hearing about how you will get water to Bangalore, the worry is where will the water be diverted from? That it doesn't make headlines so much when we know that uh, uh, women and children in villages wait for hours. But when it happens in Bangalore, uh, then suddenly there's a reaction in any, any city. There are reactions from politicians, the water is being actually diverted away from rural India to our cities. Uh, can I comment on that? Oh, sure. no, I, think, I think water is a common resource and I think yeah. drinking water is a priority for every government. Can I Yes, go ahead and I complete, finish? Mr. Rao. Go ahead and complete. I think drinking, uh, yeah, the drinking water, providing drinking water is the number one priority for any government. So, uh, I think that's the first thing that we have to address and Bangalore is a global city. Bangalore is a city which catches headlines and if we can't uh, manage uh, the water situation in Bangalore, definitely it affects the entire uh, state and it affects even the image of a country. So, I mean, uh, water is being uh, uh, diverted in the sense that n not that rural India, is, uh, rural Karnataka is not getting the water, but some of the excess water which is available in some places are being diverted. So, it's not that we are trying to pu uh, put urban against rural, but ultimately we have to provide uh, drinking water to all. So, this is a challenge that we are facing and uh, mm, we need to address it. At, uh, we can't say that, okay, we're going to do all these measures in the future and we'll not give you water now. We have to give them. We have no choice. So uh, that definitely is being done and uh, later on, I think this government, our government under the leadership of Mr. Sidramaya, we are going to look at this in a very, very serious manner and bring in, you know, all kinds of various uh, experts and uh, see that, you know, we well, it, uh, would be, it would be nice to know the actual plan is, is but wasted. It's a precious resource. Yes. Everybody needs to understand it, even the rich, the middle class, everyone.